In this video we're looking at an app called Explain Everything Interactive Whiteboard. There are some paid additional features which you can buy as add-ons, but we'll go in and have a look at what the standard package includes. So we'll click on the app to launch it. So down the bottom we've got projects, that's where you access all of the things that you create. We've got Collaborate, which is a premium feature, which is available as part of my 29 days free trial, but we'll go once that trial is over. We've got the Discover feature, which allows you to look at what others have created. As you can see, other things have been used to create, so there's some mass examples there. And projects that you upload as part of the, the premium package, which will last for my trial will also appear there and then I've got the ability to edit my profile. So we're going to go back to projects and I'm going to create a new project and you can choose whether it's landscape or portrait or whether it's from a template or or from pictures or documents. So potentially if you're creating a mass um, a problem that you wanted students to try and solve and you wanted to demonstrate the technique behind it you'd use the picture function having got a picture or a document that had the calculations already marked on it and then you could draw on the top. So we're going to go from template and you can see we've got various grid backgrounds that we could use. You can choose image and then down the left hand side we've got the ability to move stuff. We've got a pencil, a pen, a paint palette, some shapes, some letters and various other tools that we will go through as, as we go. And then right at the bottom we can add multiple slides and we can press record and we can record sound as we go. So if we start, I demonstrate the pencil, I can write my name, I can fill that colour if I choose to. I can apply that I can rub out the last thing that I did and then if I use the move I can click and I can move that element around the page I'll click on the shapes function I can draw arrows or I can choose, if I click and hold on it, I can choose a shape that I want to draw. And then I can click on that shape. And I can paint it a different color. So we've looked at adding shapes. I've also got a pen, I can write on stuff as well. I can type in stuff and I can alter the size of that font and its alignment as well. And then I've got the option to insert stuff so I can insert images and videos, files, clip art, new videos, pictures, audio, existing audio and new equations. So. I can import those in and it's got the full uh, numeric symbols available to me there. So that allows me to highlight a particular element and cut that out and then move it around. That dis disconnects stuff I'm not sure what those bits do, but anyway, you get the idea. And I can obviously zoom in and zoom out and I can reset down the bottom. And then if I wanted to record a video, I could have recorded all of that by hitting the record and then done an audio track alongside. And then when I'm done, I can go back to home. I can title it. I'll click OK. I'm done. So you could, you could add various elements. You could go through a whole 
problem technique solving stuff or you could create an animated presentation all within the app. So I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to subscribe to my channel.